Bonjour, today on Travelling Fabulously, we're walking along the Seine River. I'm showing you the best things to do in Paris. One of them is to just go for a stroll along the Seine. I do all the time. So come join me walking along the Seine River. You know what I say, whatever you do, do it fabulously. So why don't you come and join me on Travelling Fabulously. We've started our journey today just by getting off the metro station Passy, which is located on Line 6. Or if you're one of those people, it's the lime green coloured line. And we're walking down to the Alley de Singes. 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 And there's a lot of breeze. I hope my musty thing on the microphone's working. Mm. But before we continue on, don't forget, if you like these videos, press the like button. And, of course, if you want to get more of these videos every week, then subscribe to Fabulousness by hitting the subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you get emails every time I release a new video. And who wouldn't want that? So we're walking along the Alley de Singes so that I can show you something a little bit special at the end of it. So come on, as they say, walk this way. So the surprise I was telling you about is just up there. Yes, up there. That's it. Oh, that's a really bad shot. How many chins have I got? She is the Statue of Liberty replica, which was a present to Paris from the expat American community back at the centenary of the revolution. The French Revolution, that is. So to continue our walk after seeing the Statue of Liberty, I'm just heading back now to the Berhimbrin, to the Berhimbrin, to the Berhimbrin, to the bridge from inception. The Berhakim, let's just hope that one's right, bridge is actually a fantastic spot to get a great view of the Eiffel Tower. And it's also a really good spot to get all arty and farty on your Instagram. Arty farty. So let's go check it out. Paris is known as a city of romance and all along your walk along the Seine in Paris you will see romance in abundance. So after you've seen a few couples canoodling, you can take a walk around Promenade d'Australie. Just be careful of the kangaroos. Nope, no kangaroos, but you will take in amazing views of the Eiffel Tower and the Trocadero. Place to Alma is an exact replica of the torch from the Statue of Liberty. Since 1997 though, this has become a place of homage for Diana, as it is directly above the roadway underpass where she and Prince Dodi Fayed had that fateful car accident. Goodbye England's Rose. Continuing along though, you will see the glass domed roof of the Grand Palais, which is often home to exhibitions and concerts. How often like you get to say this? Behind me is the Musée d'Orsay. It's one of the myriad museums up and down along the Seine River that you can pop into on a cloudy day. But a little tip, a cloudy day is possibly not the best day to go to a museum here in Paris because everybody does that. So if it's a cloudy day or a rainy day, avoid a museum. Go on a sunny day. It's a bit of an oxymoron. Oh, I used that again two videos in a row. Don't even know what an oxymoron means. Oh well. It's never stop me from saying things that I don't know what they mean. Anyway, speaking of museums, check out some of the other great museums you can see along the Seine. The Musée de Key Branly, which opened in June 2016. Its focus is around arts and cultures of Africa, Asia, Oceania and the Americas. There's also the Louvre, of course, the Orangerie, and the Navy Museum and Institute of the Arab World, to name a few of the museums along the river. When you get to the Tuileries and the Louvre, that's a really good time to start walking along the banks of the River Seine. Come on, join me. Walk this way again. to fiddle around with your phone and take pictures and time lapses and all that sort of stuff. Some spots along the banks of the Seine are the perfect spot to do just that. Sit down, cup of tea in hand or a cup of coffee and film away for that perfect Instagram story. Time lapse of Paris, the River Seine. 
if the bridge behind me looks familiar, that's because you'll remember, if you're an Adele fan, it's the bridge in the video clip, someone like you. I've heard that you settled down and you've found a friend and you're married now. Oh, getting a bit of my Adele on. It's actually the Pont Alexander III bridge. And right opposite is a fab restaurant you should definitely check out called Flo. Has amazing views and very good food. Right behind me is Pont Neuf. It's actually the oldest bridge on the River Seine. But ironically, its name means New Bridge. Ooh. Oh, I just shed a tear. Not because it's like the oldest bridge, but because there's this wind going right into my face. Don't cry for me, Marjortina. All right, hold on. I'll just get, yep. Not crying anymore. Let's keep on going. Pont Neuf, the old bridge, which is basically the new bridge, is one of 37 bridges along the River Seine. Some people like to put locks on the bridges in Paris, but the council is actually trying to stop this as the weight of the locks is damaging some of the bridges. Behind me is the Ile de City, which houses the Conciergerie, Notre Dame and Saint-Chapelle. Which, by the way, to those Australians out there, is not something dedicated to, you know, the infamous Chappelle somebody. Mm, no, it's actually a really, 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 really old church. You can join a boat cruise along the River Seine for around 15 euro and jump off your tour bus to get on a boat. And there is nothing wrong with that. Well, I'm not judging much. But I say keep the money for wine and cheese and walk instead. You'll be still be able to hear some of the commentary when you're walking, or if not, just play this video. Don't fall in whilst walking and watching this video though, please. So I'm nearly at the end of my walk and I just stopped off for a quick little coffee break. Check out my Instagram stories for a location on where to get some really great coffee in Paris. Oh, by the way, did you know you can get your own Travelling Fabulously merch? Yes, who wouldn't want that? You can get a tote bag, a t-shirt, you can travel fabulously too. Just check out the link in the description of this video. Just check out the link in the description of this video. Oh my gosh, I'm about to be going away. Can you tell which way the water's flowing? The Seine flows northeast. Or is that northwest? No. Nope. Northeast, and it ends up at the Channel. Channel. Or as the French would say, the French Channel. Well, probably they don't say that, but I just made that up, and I kind of like it. Yeah, we should call it the French Channel, not the English Channel. Especially now with the whole Brexit thing going on. Let's reclaim the Channel. Woohoo! But that's right, it flows northeast. That is what I call an interesting fact. Here's some other interesting facts about the Seine. Also known as one of Paris's most beautiful avenues, and you used to be able to swim in it until 1923, when they declared it's not very safe. The river runs 776 kilometres through France and into the English Channel, as I said before, at Hornfleur. Its source is actually in Burgundy, and it's the second longest river flowing completely in France. And they've since started to clean the river up, so now you can even get Atlantic salmon in it. Hopefully, we'll be swimming in it for the Paris Olympics in 2024. If not, we'll just have to build the Olympiads a pool. I wonder if they said to themselves, do these statues make my ass look big? Behind me, just on the other side of the river, just over there, yep, that's right, all I'm pointing is Paris' statue garden. If you've got time, you should definitely cross the river and go over there and have a look. You can check that out in my Largest Gardens in Paris video. Just click the link up here. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Travelling Fabulously, walking along the River Seine. If you liked it, press the like button. Share me around with your friends. I love to be shared around. Mm, don't you? Oh, and above all, subscribe to Fabulously by hitting the subscribe button. And remember what I say, whatever you do, do it fabulously. Fabulously.